If you're here, it's because you know who I am. Kick-Ass, the first real superhero in all that crap. Although technically, Mindy and her dad were the first. Hit Girl and Big Daddy. They're not as famous, but, well, they were a lot closer than I was to being superheroes. And if I was famous before, just imagine after the incident with the Mithril family and more Red Mist. Unfortunately, we also suffered casualties. Mindy lost Big Daddy. After that, she went to live with Marcus, a friend of her dad's. A good guy to tell the truth. He made her promise that she would give up his life. But I needed something more. The next logical step was a group of superheroes. And I needed to... Ow! Seriously, I'm getting sick of this. First of all, why aren't we working out in this disgusting dump? This area is controlled by Shorty Wallace, a small-time dealer. He runs the car shop over there. Let's just say that this is the perfect place for your first... field test. Field test? What are you talking about? A few days after, Marcus found out about Mindy's latest feat before we could meet up with Dr. Gravity's pals. He forced her to fulfill the promise she'd made to him. No more superheroes. But me? I couldn't believe my eyes. Those guys had a headquarters like the Avengers or the Justice League. I already knew Dr. Gravity. They introduced me Night Bitch, the girl who became a masked vigilante when somebody murdered her sister. Remember Tommy, we're the parents of the kid who was kidnapped years ago, and Insect Man, who had been fucked over all his life because he was gay, and Battle Guy turned out to be my buddy Marty Eisenberg. The stupid jerk had made up a story about his parents being murdered in order to join the group, although that didn't seem to matter to their leader. Colonel Stars and Stripes, former Mafia hitman, born-again Christian, and the coolest fucking guy I've ever met. Kick ass. It would be a great honor if you'd join us. Yeah, sign me up. Where are the g girls, Carnage? School you, you old fucking wrong danger. Pike? Oh, oh, are you playing it? Oh, guys, I'm good, I'm a good testing. You see, it wasn't so hard to talk. Oh, oh you, you'll be sorry. What is it? Oh, it would take care of you. Oh. The motherfucker? You might be the guy Black Death told us about. The one who wanted to be the first supervillain. Forget about it. I'm not gonna say that name. Let's go. We have plenty to do besides battling evil. Being a superhero means helping people. And he was right. A lot of the time there wasn't much action. Most nights we worked as volunteers at soup kitchens or we helped distribute missing people posters. That's what being a group of superheroes was. We were justice forever. Not bad for an amateur. You know what? I'd like to see what you turds can do against heavy artillery. Watch out! No! Fucking Russian whore? Well, well, Mother Russia. Seems we've killed Colonel Stars and Stripes. What a shitty name, by the way. It's like a copy of Captain America by Rob Liefeld. Chris Amico, you motherfucker! The motherfucker in the flesh, Dave. You'll soon reunite with that prick colonel because I'm gonna wipe out all of you masked freaks and kids. New York will tremble when it hears my name. The police? What a shame. We'll just have to leave this for another occasion, won't we? See you around, moron. Although I couldn't help feeling responsible, the least I could do was to give Colonel Sars and Stripes the send up he deserved. I'm sorry, Dave. I should have been there, but... I know. You promised Marcus. I understand. Dave! Duck! Shit! Shit! What are we gonna do? Damn it, you're supposed to be a fucking superhero! Act like a superhero! Fuck yeah! Remember Abogribe, Tumor? That's going to look like a time massage compared to what I'm going to do to you. The tumor squealed. The motherfucker was preparing a devastating attack right in the middle of New York. We barely had time to prevent it. It's time, let's go! <laughs> do as much damage as you can, toxic mega cunts! Chris D'Amico! Surrender, you asshole! Are you really this stupid? There's like two of you and an army of us! Do you seriously have such a hard-on to die? No, that's why we brought our friends. What are we standing around for? Take them down! Ouch! 
I'm a former spetnaz, the old KGB. I'm trained in Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, Savat, and Krav Maga. Do you really think you have a chance against me? There's always a last resort. You think you can kill me with a little needle? That's not what it's for. Did it, man. He'd be proud of you. Of all of us. One last time, for the colonel, justice, justice forever! forever! That's how it ended. Mindy left New York. She said she couldn't put Marcus in that position. When she left, I understood where my life was going. I understood that superheroes can't exist in the real world. Because the real world needs real heroes. And not just some punk in a wet playing dress up, but a genuine badass who can really kick ass.